Hey, hi. In this video, I will show you how we can create Azure MySQL database uh, using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay. So as you see in my screen, uh, my I have my environment ready now. Uh, whereas to know more about how you can um, set up your environment, um, like um, um, setting the GitHub account, um, GitHub repo, GitHub Actions related configurations, and also um, uh, GitHub Secret related configurations, please do watch my previous videos uh, where I have explained everything from the scratch. Okay, and also um, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. Okay, yeah. With that note, let's get started to this demo. Yeah, I have, as you can see in my screen, I have my repo been um, um, uh, being cloned in my um, in this Visual Studio Code, as you see currently in my uh, in my local future branch. Okay. So uh, in in this repo, I have two branches. One with the name future branch uh, one, and other with an other name um, other branch with the name uh, main branch. Yeah. So future branch, I denote it as a um, uh, my development branch where I will be doing my coding. Yeah. And uh, uh, the main branch, I denote it as a production branch through which I would be releasing uh, my infrastructure to the Azure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, um, so again, uh, one step ahead. Uh, let me quickly walk you through the uh, pictorial representation of the demo, or what I'm trying to show you here. Yeah. So as you see here, um, so this um, a picture contains um, at, the, at the top, it contains two um, two logos. One is um, one is GitHub account, and the other one is the Azure account. Okay. Yeah. So GitHub, under GitHub account, I have Terraform and the GitHub Actions. So uh, henceforth, I have added those. Um, um, the logos of Terraform and the GitHub Actions under it, so that it represents that these um, uh, these two things are under GitHub account, and final product that is uh, MySQL database is under Azure account. Yeah, since we are provisioning our MySQL database under Azure, henceforth I have added it as an end product. Okay, and the other one that is the starting point is my uh, Visual Studio Code where I will be developing my Terraform code. Yeah, and pushing it to the GitHub account. Yeah, and once the Terraform code has been pushed to GitHub account, it the the GitHub Actions will be automatically Invoked, yeah. Once the GitHub Actions invokes those Terraform files, they automatically our our required uh, MySQL database service will be created in the in my subscription, yeah. So that is the pictorial representation of uh, my demo. Okay. So let me quickly walk you through the the required code files um, to do this uh, demo, yeah. So as I explained, so I'm currently in my um, GitHub repo and I'm currently in the, my future branch, which I denote it as a development branch. Okay. So as you see here in the repo under the root, I have two Terraform file, one with the name main Terraform file. And uh, other with the name um, um, uh, MySQL um, uh, MySQL dot Terraform file, yeah. So under the GitHub, under the and again, I have one more file folder with the name dot GitHub. Okay, so the, under that, I have one more subfolder that is with the name workflows. Okay, workflow is is the folder which hosts your GitHub Actions related files. Okay, so henceforth, I have two actions. Um, so henceforth, one with the name Terraform plan. Yeah. So this Terraform plan is targeted. Okay, so this um, workflow or this action is been targeted on the future branch. Yeah. So the, as the name suggests, like Terraform plan. Okay, so this is mean for um, creating a Terraform plan out of my infrastructure as a code. Once the once the plan is run, it will it will create a draft of my infrastructure which is going to be provisioned. So okay, the, as a, as a, as a developer, what I do, I go there and see the the infrastructure um, at, uh, as a code Terraform plan, and I come to know that what actually my Terraform plan will going to do if I release it. Okay, so that's the reason I have targeted this to future branch. Okay, so whenever I make a changes and and push this code to my upstream future branch, automatically this action will be kicked in and it will show me the the required um, changes that going to happen to my infrastructure. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the reason I have targeted to this uh, future branch and I have one more file with the name Terraform apply. Okay, so this has been targeted on the main branch as you see here. Okay, so this is the file which is responsible for provisioning or prov actually provisioning the services in my Azure account. Yeah, uh, and henceforth it is targeting to the targeting to the uh, main branch. Okay, yeah. Um, so uh, this this is uh, this how this uh, um, invoked is so whenever uh, whenever I make a um, um, pull request um, or, or whenever, whenever I make a create whenever I create a pull request from the, my future branch to main branch right so hence for the code will be there is a code merger right from the future branch which is the n plus one branch and the main branch which will be n branch right so henceforth there is a version changes is there so whenever I make a merger from future branch to um, to my main branch. So there's a code push happens on the main branch. Okay, henceforth this, so this pipeline will be kicked in. Yeah, yeah. so that is how I have designed the um, um, uh, the GitHub Actions. Okay, for this demo purpose. Okay, so let me. Uh, so I have other two files. So that is main.terraform file. So let me quickly walk you through that file as well. 
So as you see this file, so this file is meant for, um, uh, uh, it contains a, a provider data, that is the Terraform provider data. So this is the Terraform provider data. And also it contains uh, one more block with the with a name called Terraform backend configurations. Okay, so this, this is the block. Uh, which which is carries the um, Terraform backend configuration that is nothing but um, a Terraform state file. Okay, this is the uh, the definition in Terraform which will um, uh, which will contain the Terraform state file uh, data. Okay, yeah. Um, so the uh, in general, so this is the block uh, which is responsible for maintaining the Terraform state file. Okay, so as you know that the Terraform works based on the Terraform state file. Yeah. Um, so with that, let's go to the another file. So that is um, MySQL dot file MySQL dot Terraform file. Okay, so as you see here. So this is the core and soul and whole file which is responsible for creating the um, uh, creating the my required service that is MySQL uh, database here. Okay. Um, so let me quickly walk you through the code of this file so that you understand the how actually the uh, code to be written to provision the MySQL data uh, database in, uh, with using the Terraform. So first one, as you know that we need to have a resource group. Henceforth, I am creating the resource group via via this code block. Okay. So this is the code block which is creates um, uh, the Azure resource group. Uh, to uh, to to host our MySQL database, okay. And again, this is a resource um, in in the Terraform, and and um, the type uh, the, the keyword to create the resource group is Azure RM underscore resource underscore group, yeah. And this is the um, variable which is uh, storing that data. Yeah. Inside this flower bucket block, we are giving the name, okay. The, the name of my resource group is this one. Location is this one, yeah. And after that, we are after that, I have one more block, and that is the block which is creating the MySQL server, yeah. So as you see here, so this is the block which is responsible for creating the MySQL server. Okay, uh, so it's a big, big, uh, big definition, but let me quickly walk you through this. Yeah. So as you see, it's again MySQL server creation in Terraform is a, is a resource. Okay, and the keyword or the other uh, resource type to create MySQL server is uh, Azure RM underscore MySQL underscore service. Uh, and this is the uh, MySQL uh, variable. Yeah, this is the variable which is storing the MySQL server database. Inside this flower bucket block, we are giving the the name of the SQL Server, the location and the resource group. As you see here, the name and the resource group names are been been referenced from the above resource group itself. Yeah. So this is my location. Yeah. So location value is been referenced from there, and the MySQL so my uh, the the resource group and the location value. So this is the resource group. So it is being referenced from the resource group where my SQL Server will be created. And again, so this is the location where the my Azure RM resource, um, um, so um, resource group location is been um, getting created, right? So, so the so again, uh, the location value uh, for this uh, MySQL server is been referenced from there itself, okay? And after that, the required administrator password and the um, uh, and the login ID, yeah? Are they uh, these are the respective one, yeah? Um, so for the, for this demo, I have hard coded it here, but I recommend always recommend you to store these values in 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 somewhere else. In a secure file in an or in the um, the release or, or the or the pipeline definition variables okay and after that um, we are providing the further parameters like like sku name okay so here i'm i'm, I'm creating the b underscore gen 5 um, underscore 2 so that's my sku name uh, storage mb I'm, I'm giving it as a 5120 mb yeah that's a 5 gb and version is 5.7 okay so that's a my uh, my sql server version um, then auto grow enable. So auto grow enable feature is is made is made it as a true. Uh, then the backup retention days. So backup retention day uh, is is ma making it as a um, seven. Zero redundancy backup uh, is I'm making it as a false, but I will leave it up to you uh, based on your requirement. Yeah, you can enable it true. Okay, enable it by using true option. Yeah, the infrastructure uh, encryption enable. So it is I'm making it as a false, but I would again encourage you according to your requirement to make it as a true. Yeah. And after that, public network access enabled. So uh, uh, the public network access enabled, I'm making it as a true. The SSL enforcement enabled equal to true. Yeah. Then SSL minimal uh, minimal TL, TLS version is enforced equals to TL. Okay. So the TL, TLS version. Okay. So TLS version, I'm uh, making it as a TLS version 1.2. Okay, and after that, um, so I have one more block. So this is the core uh, block which creates our SQL database. Okay, so this is the small um, definition which is responsible for creating the MySQL um, database. Okay, this is the this is the block which creates MySQL database in the in, in MySQL servers which we have defined earlier. Okay, so again, it's a resource. Yeah, and and the uh, and, and the resource type uh, to create MySQL database is Azure RM MySQL underscore database. Yeah, so it's a self-explanatory, right? And, and and this is the uh, this is the variable which is storing the MySQL database uh, values. And, and inside this flower bucket block, we are giving the required parameters at the name, um, resource group, server name, 
character set and the collation okay so let me go one by one so the, the name you can check give it as your wish then the resource group here as you see here the resource groups uh, is being referenced okay the resource group is been referenced from the above created resource group uh, the azure rm um, uh, sql server okay again i'm referencing from the same server name which i have created above then the character set okay the character set uh, is is again uh, utf8 and the collation is again i'm giving the this is the utf8 underscore unicode underscore ci so that's my uh, collection uh, id yeah and after that i'm creating a firewall so this is my uh, the, the the this is the block which is responsible for creating the uh, firewall rule on the on the my sql server yeah uh, again this is a resource um, the uh, the this is the keyword or the resource type uh, to create a mysql firewall rule uh, and the mysql server yeah and this is the variable again which is same okay so as you, as you might have noticed the variable name i have given same okay it is okay to give such a okay uh, since it's a it's a coding easy way henceforth i'm giving it like this okay but it is okay to give um it, it depends on your convenience okay so this is my convenient henceforth i'm giving it like that yeah and after that under the flower bracket uh, block we are giving the required parameters that is the name of my firewall resource group uh, the server name nothing but my sql server name and then the start and the end ip address okay so these are the um, values which i'm giving here yeah okay so that's a quick code walk through uh, to create our mysql server database okay so let's make some changes okay so let me make immaterial changes here so let me um, add some command okay so demo okay so let me add as a command and save it once i save it i need to um, make it staged and committed okay so that i can um, um, uh, merge it to upstream branch okay so let me commit it so i'm currently committing to my local branch okay as you see currently i'm in my local branch local branch is nothing but the um, the cloned copy of the branch okay so yeah so as you see at the synchronization um, um, uh, feature says that it has zero uh, downstream um, changes but it has upstream changes has to be synced that is one change has to be synced to my upstream branch okay. so let me quickly sync these changes to my future branch okay once i once these changes get synced to the upstream branch automatically uh, my uh, my one of my action okay one of my uh, github actions should be kicked in so let's see which actions gets gets kicked it here okay so let's uh, let me click on the plan it um, it should be a terraform plan yeah um it has done it let's see if it has kicked in the uh, terraform plan um it should be kicked in now so let's um, let it refresh okay yeah as you see here so here you go so this action has been kicked in so let's parallelly walk through uh, the logs of that action yeah um so let me open this action yeah so terraform plan okay so the terraform plan um, um uh, what it does as, as i explained so it is just um just reads the uh, the mysql dot terraform file and, and it also uh, gets the data of the what are the services being provisioned in the resource group and it will create a draft okay it will say in a, in a summary it will say like this is the resources i going to create when you invoke me okay yes yeah, something like that yeah so let's let's walk let's quickly walk you through the walks through the this terraform plan okay as you see here okay it's it says uh, it's going to create a mysql database yeah here it says a mysql database mysql uh, firewall rule uh, mysql server yeah and um and, and it says i am going to create a resource groups okay in the summary as you see here uh, it says it's going to uh, create four uh, resources zero changes and zero register yeah so that's about the um, plan stage so let's go to the terraform apply stage okay so now how to do it so for that one i need to create a pull request against um, uh, my uh, my uh, my main branch yeah so let me create a pull request against my main branch so feature branch will be merged okay so feature branch changes will be merged to main branch okay so that's a, a pull request what it does okay so let me uh, click on the pull request uh, create pull request okay once the pull request is created i will directly go and merge it so that our terraform apply uh, stage gets kicked in yeah so as you see it so here is the merger button so let me confirm the merger yeah so once the merger is been um, done automatically it will kick in the one more um, action that is the github action um so here you see um so yeah so the merge pull request okay so this uh, this act task has kicked in uh, one more um, action and yeah, that is terraform plan terraform apply action so, so this is the stage where actually the um, the actual um, uh, azure resources gets provisioned um it okay it gets provisioned in our um, azure account okay so let me quickly um, walk you through or parallelly walk you through the uh, terraform logs okay so let's see terraform logs what it says 
okay um uh, in indeed it is a bit time consuming task so i would um, encourage you to stay bit patienceful yeah um so yeah so let's see um, how much time it will take but generally it will take some time yeah so let's quickly um, uh, quickly watch the uh, the the log simultaneously okay it's currently uh, created the resource group okay and now it is creating a mysql server as you see the azure rm underscore mysql underscore server okay that's, that's a keyword so keyword is nothing but resource type that and and dot uh, the key the variable okay so that's variable is getting executed now okay again i as i always uh, recommend you to always um, look at the terraform um, plan and the terraform apply logs okay because of because that's the mode through which you understand that what actually the terraform um, uh, terraform will does okay so and indeed okay so once you know that uh, that this is how the terraform works then that would really um, really help you um, uh, to to code your uh, infrastructure as a code um, okay using um, uh, using this terraform file okay so this demo is is, is just just focusing on uh, creating each services okay so so this is i will tell it as a dots of the um, infrastructure as a code okay so you will be using these dots and you will provision your infrastructure okay nothing but your platform okay where you will be hosting your applications your workloads uh are etc etc okay your your services in indeed yeah so let's see if um, so this is my subscription where i was creating the uh, where i was um, doing my um, uh, terraform tasks okay so let's refresh it and see if the resource group got created yeah so currently it is refreshing uh, let's wait for some time yeah here you go so the resource group has been created and this is our location yeah and um, so currently it is um, it is creating the mysql server okay as i explained you so this mysql server creation is bit uh, time consuming yeah um, so let's wait for some time so so that um, uh, so that this service gets provisioned okay once it gets provisioned i will show you the services get got provisioned under uh, under the same resource group okay so that marks our completion of this demo okay so indeed it is bit uh, time consuming um, um, uh, type time consuming yeah because it has to provision the mysql server okay always the uh, the sql server hosting is a bit uh, time consuming yeah um so let let me uh, let me open this um, uh, resource group yeah so that i can show you if it is resource got provisioned yeah in general it won't okay it will provisioned after I mean, you will see only one resource group okay so mysql server won't be shown here but whereas you will see only the mysql database okay so currently it is provisioning the mysql server henceforth we are not seeing any resources here indeed it has created a, a, the required resource group and it is currently provisioning the mysql server okay it is uh, three minutes past okay but it is still creating indeed it, it is a bit uh, time consuming task okay so to to, to make this uh, demo very live yeah henceforth I'm, I'm i'm making you to watch these logs okay that's the only uh, aim behind um, making you wait but indeed yeah you need to you need to understand this okay that's the reason i always tell like uh, please keep watching the logs okay um, because that will really um, really help you to understand the how the terraform will look okay so as we were talking in regards to that so uh, the mysql server got uh, provisioned okay it says now it is provisioning the mysql database okay the, the database which will be hosted in the same server okay it looks like the database is also provisioned currently yeah and it also successfully provisioned the um, the firewall as well yeah so that's it the the, the terraform apply stage is now successful okay so let me quickly uh, finally show you what um, uh, the end of the uh, terraform apply log says okay so here you go so it says the apply is complete it has successfully created four resources zero changes and zero destroy okay so let's see what it has done okay here yeah so here they should we should see one 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 resource that is um, um, our sql database yeah that is my sql database yeah um so here you go so the mysql database has been provisioned now so let me quickly show you the features which we have updated through the terraform definition are being available or not yeah so here you go so the, the server the location is west to west this is my resource group this is my server name okay this is my sql version um the uh, the performance configurations ssl enabled or not yeah so these are the features so let's let's see yeah we have not updated the intelligence performance replication rate so hence for this does getting it says not configured yeah and uh, let's go down yeah we have enabled ssl connection right hence what it is enabled now um so again um uh, the available resources okay so let's let's go down um uh, yeah so here you go under the under the databases okay we have uh, created this uh, this is our mysql database which got created okay along with that there are four other databases that is nothing but um, uh, the the default database which gets created with the mysql server okay yeah 
Okay, so that's a, that's a straightforward demo. Yeah, we have shown you um, from the scratch to end how to provision the uh, MySQL server via Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay, with that note, that's a completion of this demo. Thanks for watching my videos. And once again, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. Okay, with that note, thank you. Thanks a lot.